Hey everybody, Jared Bendis here, Creative New Media Officer for the Friedman Center for Digital Scholarship at the Calvin Smith Library here at Case Western Reserve University. And today I have a good one. So somebody has brought me a DVD that they need video off of. Now, this is not a commercial DVD. This is a homemade DVD. This is a DVD that was made by somebody converting it from VHS to DVD. And we know it's a DVD because it says DVD on it also. It's a homemade DVD, and we know this as well because uh, they tend to be purple, which is very useful. Now, the question is, I want to turn this DVD into something that I can use without popping it into a DVD player. Now, for me to do this, I, of course, need a DVD player, and I want to go through the process because it's ridiculously easy, and it's free, which is even better. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the disc in the drive, and we'll see what my computer does. Now, if I'm not mistaken, my computer, when you pop a DVD in, is probably going to launch some DVD player, Windows Media Player, VLC, I'm guessing it's VLC which, by the way, is the video player of choice. And here it is. VLC is playing this DVD, and it's a quick news item that was recorded and transferred from videotape to DVD. Now, that's great. VLC can play it, and that's, that'd be fine if that's what I wanted. But let's come over here and take a look at the disc. Instead of playing the disc, I'm going to come over here, and I am going to open it. And if I open it, what you're going to see is there's a folder called video underscore TS. All DVDs are actually data disks with a very specific formatting to them. Now, if this was a commercial DVD, it would look like this as well, but that data would be encrypted, and what we're about to do doesn't work. And by the way, we have other things for that, so we're not going to talk about that right now. What we're going to talk about is this. And if I were to open up this file, you would find all these little things over here, VOB files, IFO files, and believe it or not, there's lots of little files, but what we don't want to do is have to play with these files. Now, what's cool is, is that a DVD is technically an MPEG-2 file put into a menu system. And with certain software packages, we can pull out that MPEG-2. But modern software really doesn't want MPEG-2s. We really want to play with MPEG-4s. So what we need to do is we need to find some piece of software that will look at this disk, pull out the original data, make the MPEG-2, and convert it to an MPEG-4. And the good news is it's one step, and it's ridiculously easy. And to that, what we're going to use is Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is a cross-platform and free piece of software. And if you'll notice, the first thing it says is, would you like me to open up the, the disk? And the answer is, absolutely. Now, it's going to take a few moments to analyze this, the disk and see what we've got. And it's going to see if there's a title, because there may be more than one video on a movie, on a disk. A disk may actually have multiple what are called titles. There's another way between titles and uh, chapters. A chapter may be a breakpoint, but technically it's one video file. But you could have a DVD that has several different videos on them, and you would need to work on them separately. So if I come over here, you're going to see it says Title 1, and that's all this disc has, is one nine-minute video file. So it's able to read the disc, which is good news number one. Now, the second thing I need to do is convert it. Now, do not leave it at the preset. Why? Because the presets for Handbrake is high definition. 1080p wide screen. And that's not what this video is. This is a bit video from a videotape. This is from a DVD. DVDs, by definition, are standard definition, not high definition. So we don't want to use the defaults. We know it's a DVD. We know it's standard definition. So I'm going to come over to the presets, and instead of choosing fast 1080p, I'm going to go to my general, and I'm going to do fast 480p because a DVD is 480 lines of resolution, not 1080p. Just so you know, DVD is always going to be 480. Next thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to leave it set to MP4 because that's what I want. I need to tell it where I want it to be, right? So I can come over here. And right now it's saving to my videos folder. That's pretty good. Uh, and I will call this uh, DVD. I don't know what's on it yet, so I'll have to look it up later. So I'll call it DVD mp4 because that's what's going to make and i'm going to add it to the queue if i go over to the queue you'll see that i have it you see and then i can start my queue and it's going to go through and it's going to read the disk and it's going to pull the data off and then convert it to this other file format and it's going to take a few minutes um, in this case it's telling me it's going to take um two and a half minutes it's not a long period of time but it's only a nine minute video so if you think about that as, let's say, let's go with three minutes. Let's say that takes a third of the time. Well, if this is a two-hour movie, right, it's 120 minutes. If it only takes a third of the time, that's 40 minutes. 
So it could take a few minutes to do this. And the reason it's taking a few minutes is not just because there's a lot of work to do, it's because it's trying to read the disk in real time. And a lot of times if you have an older disk and you're like, oh my God, it's not working very well, a lot of times what we do is, is we copy the contents of the disk to a folder and then we point handbrake to that folder like it was a disk. So it's an emergency thing that we have to do because again, sometimes it's easier just to copy the data off of a disk than to read it in real time. But we're gonna let this go all the way down. We're gonna let it run all the way down to, uh, to where it is. And then we're gonna open the folder and see what happens. I'm actually really excited about this. When done, I want you to, to do nothing. I definitely don't wanna do any of those things. Sometimes it, it'll offer to let me see the folder, which would be nice. Otherwise I'm gonna have to navigate to it in front of you. 48 seconds left. So as you can see, Handbrake, which is again, free, cross-platform, easy to use. And again, we're only doing this on the disk because one, it is not encrypted, and two, it is not copyrighted. Now the materials that we're using here are from news source and the person has permission to use it, but I want you to think about the fact is that if like, if this was a, um, you taped a, a TV show, technically just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. And I want you to think about that every single time, just, there are, there are scenarios in which you can do things, but it's important to think it through and make sure that you make the right decision for yourself. Because the next step is, what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with that file? And if that file is to be shared somewhere, that's a big difference in watching a DVD that you happen to have. All right, four seconds left. And it's done. Excellent. Um, and if we come over here, Where's the DVD? There is the DVD. Let me come over here and play it. And there it is. We have we have the file completely as is, converted to a DVD, 230 megabytes. Now all I got to do, upload to Google Drive, share it with the person who's waiting for it, and you can now do this yourself. I'll include a link to where you can download Handbake from. It is third-party software, but it is free and it's easy to use. Thanks for watching. My name is Jared. Have a good day.